got clocks and stuff in here and sometimes I like to look at clocks but this is going to hurt us so we have to be very careful oh my god M's are falling out at me mm -mm, Mr. M okay stop um nothing else I don't think in this section Nanette Lepore Huh, I don't know, she sounds fancy. Oh, it's broken. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me um, for another episode of Rami's Retro. Today we are in Scottsdale. Uh, we haven't been here for a minute. We um, need to definitely head inside and see what we can find. Um, as always, it is very, very busy and the parking lot is full. So let's see what's going on. All right, well, this is happening. Uh, new carts, but people are all over them. So let's get uh, started. Not next to there. Um, here's a little bit of figurines. It doesn't look like there's, like there's anything I need to immediately grab. Um, but we're going to try to head and steer clear away from that mess. Maybe we'll start back in wood. Okie dokie. Let's see what we got here in wood. Looks like somebody cleaned up quite a bit, which is nice. Sometimes they do that before they put out new carts, so that's good. I don't see anything though um, that's terribly exciting, unfortunately. Um, so, I don't know. Not looking good here uh, so far. Maybe we do need to get ourselves, squeeze ourselves in there with those new carts. Okay, um, well, that looks kind of cool. 449 on that all plastic though so if it were wood that would be one thing but it's all plastic um we did grab a couple of things from the cart um i found this really cool dollar 49 on that little tile it's uh from puerto rico but it's pretty i think that it'll do pretty good and then for 249 a little vase it's got a signature on the bottom i like the glaze on that that's sweet no chips or cracks or anything so that's good I'm not too sure about this. I'm debating. It does have a little bit of damage, but it's really neat. Um, little kind of sculpture of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dinosaurs are super popular. I thought that'd be cute for a little boy's room or something for $5.49. So we'll see how those do. Let's see what, uh, what we got in plates. There's nobody in this aisle. We love plates. So let's see what we might be able to find. <clears throat> music's loud today there's kids playing in the middle of the aisle so it's uh, hard to get around so lots going on lots and lots Ooh, i see a platter down there we gotta check that out Ooh, 449 that's pretty premier durastone spice doesn't look like there's any breaks or anything on it it's a nice one maybe we'll throw it in the cart look it up see if it's got any value and if not, we might keep it, because I do like that for sure. Uh, I'm not seeing anything on this shelf. I think it's better that way. Yeah. But sometimes Let's check out down stuff. here. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty glass, $4.49 on yeah. that. I don't see any breaks or anything. Um, I don't know. It is pretty. Maybe we'll throw that in the cart and look it up, too trying to learn more about glass. You can't do that if we don't research it and pick it up and take a look at it, right? Oh, cute bowl, it's got a chip on it though. Don't see anything in glass. It's too terribly exciting. All right, let's swing around. Okay. This caught my eye, 549 on that. I thought it was a jar, but it doesn't look like this ugh, lid. I don't think it comes off. Um, it's very pretty though. Made by Joy. I wanna try to see if this comes off. Is it a lid? It doesn't look like it's a lid. Yeah, see, this is what's going on over here. Disastrous mess. It's not getting any better. Yeah, I don't think that that's a lid. Um, so let's keep rolling. Not seeing anything else in our kitchen stuff. It's an interesting platter. I like that, 549. Huh. 
I don't know. Let's throw it in the cart, though, and we'll find out. We've got a lot to look up. I just don't want to leave anything behind and think about it, because then that leaves it for somebody else to grab. Oh, lots of chipping on the enamel. That's too bad. 1749. It's a nice piece. It's not like Crusade, I don't think. It might be. I wonder, even with the damage, if it'd be worth anything, if it is. No, I don't think it is. It's very damaged. So, I think we'll pass on that guy. Check out the vases here. See if there's anything fun. No, plastic. Regular glass. What's this purple guy back here? That's definitely handmade. 449. It's an interesting little piece. I think we'll leave him for somebody else though. <laughs> that froggy is cute. Um, Boston Warehouse 2005. So not old, but definitely adorable. Sunshine. Oh, cute. Probably had a lid though. It looks like something that had a lid. Right. Shelves are kind of light. I'm glad they're stocking, but I think they probably pulled a lot of stuff to get ready. So maybe we'll take another swing through and see if there's more stuff for them to uh, to put out. And of course, we have to check out art. Um, this is very, very pretty, and it is um, an original piece. $39.99, signed by Frank. It's gorgeous, of Venice. I mean, that's just beautiful. It's so well done. The frame is really nice. It's so heavy though. Like there's no way I could ship that. Um, oh my God, it's so heavy. It's gorgeous though. What a beautiful, beautiful painting. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's super fun too. What's that? It's like on particle board. <laughs> it's cute though. Take a heart full of warmth and add hugs and kisses. Sift in your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. Blend them together with laughter and tears. Add a dash of forgiveness and stir through the years. For this is the recipe of love. That is so adorable and so crazy retro. And it's $12.49. And it does have a little hangy do in the back. It's got a little bit of damage on the corner up here, but nothing that's too unforgivable. I wonder if we should go ahead and grab that. Now this, although it's large, is definitely something that is easier to ship. And even though it's super weird and very handmade, I think we're gonna take a chance on that guy and see what happens. He's really, really cute. I wish I had room for him, I'd probably keep him. Actually, I wish I had room for that because I would keep that too. <laughs> I really like it. It's so beautiful, you guys. Enjoy that. Don't you wish you were there? Huh, a trip to Italy would be nice. All right. Um, well, let's keep rolling and see what else they've got. Wow. Okay, well, that was a lot of work um, for not a lot of things. Um, I can't remember what my total was. Um, I'll put it up here somewhere. I think it was like $34. But um, we, didn't, uh, we didn't get that Tyrannosaurus Rex. I put him back. I noticed as I was looking at him that he had some more than just a little scuff. He was missing a tooth and another tooth was chipped. And So I thought, you know what, I'm, I think I'm going to leave this one behind. However, I did see quite a few um, like cast resin and things like that, pottery, um, Tyrannosaurus Rex skull looking things um, that were listed for quite a bit. I didn't check out solds. So that will definitely be, have to be something that we keep our eye out for. Um, very interesting little decorative piece that people seem to um, really like, and it's very popular. Um, we did get the blue glass platter. Um, the cashier loved it. She thought it was really cool, so that was neat. And we did get the uh, flower plate. And it looks like a bowl sold for $10 um, a little while ago, so that looks like that'll be pretty decent. And we did get the tray. Um, so that was made in Jerusalem. So we are going to do pretty good on all those things. Um, that was a quick trip, so I kind of want to stop at one more place, uh, but I want to do it at the ones up north in Cactus. I don't want to go south to Tempe. So I will get back to you in a little bit. It might be dark by the time I see you again. All right, 7th Street and Thunderbird. We haven't been here in a minute. So let's see what they got. 
Okay, first style we're gonna get to, um, it looks like metal and fake plants. So that's a cool teapot. Wonder how much it is. Does it have any breaks or anything? Yeah, it's pretty rough here on the top. I mean, it's not terrible, but usually those are made out of ceramic. I think this one's wood. Um, and $8.49 on that guy. So I think we're gonna leave him for someone else to enjoy. Um, not seeing too much else in metal. Uh, it looks like it slides over into crystal here. That's interesting. $249. Little mama hand and a baby hand. And I like this. It's just cut glass, but it's very pretty. Um, $849. Well, I don't think so. Um, not for us. Let's swing around the corner to figurines. Okay, figurines. Let's see what we got. That owl definitely is the first thing that I see, or whatever it is. Falcon, owl. I don't know. Four forty nine on him. Kind of a little handmade piece, but he's really fun. Oh, what else do we have here? Fun little Shirley Temple girl. Two forty nine on her. And little nativity with Gloria watching over everything. That's pretty. Little resin guy there. Some older little uh, print, a little baby. Cute, 249. It's broken, the chain's broken. All these little masks. My sister used to have a collection of little masks like that. First communion music box, that's sweet. Um, I had a Mary, little Mary bust here, 449 on that. It's like a chalkware material. Uh, there's a little white Asian sumo wrestler guy or something back here. What's this? Five forty-nine. Uh, Benny Hanna. It's a little cup. I learned that the other day. I've got a couple. Um, I've seen a couple. Not like this, but um, there was the Buddha the other day, and then I saw that white, um, which I actually wound up going back and getting the white uh, little geisha girl. I have her listed right now. Um, but those are their cups from restaurants. Um, this is very pretty and hand painted. One forty nine for that. Doesn't look like there's any breaks or anything. I think we'll go ahead and pick that up for sure. Okay, let's check out glass. See if there's anything here for us. Um, not seeing anything yet. Well, what's that? That's an interesting cup. Chopstick, sirloin stud, chicken fried chicken, German style sausage. I don't know. It's like from a restaurant or something. A sirloin stockade. Interesting. That's kind of cool for three forty nine. Huh. Bobby McGee's um, is right next to my house, and I've never been there. I have lived in the neighborhood for almost twenty years and never gone to Bobby McGee's. I should. It's a barbecue place. Um, for those of you that don't live here. Um, and I think I need to check it out sometime. There's a grease um, shot glass. It's pretty. 149. Oh, there's a couple. Here's another one from Greece. 149. I'd love to go to Greece. That would be wonderful. What a beautiful vacation that would be. Uh, Costa Rica. A little pottery shot glass these have some age to them but um, they're pretty common and there is only three so we'll pass on those get into the mugs here any fun stuff in mugs that we can't live without enchiladas that's a really good local restaurant here um delicious actually i was just there a couple weeks ago with amy Oop. these are new from ross I figured that they were, but I wanted to make sure. Don't fall, please, and thank you. There's another one. They're very pretty. Um, there's just not a ton of resale value, I don't think, there. Um, I don't see anything else really for us here in the mugs. Nothing too terribly old. That's signed Linda on it with a little fish. Um, these Ray Dunn mugs, some of them are very collectible. I don't know which ones are and which ones aren't. Those don't seem to be um, the ones that are highly collectible. Um, it's unlikely that they'd still be here, probably. Stuff like that usually goes really fast, and it is late in the afternoon. Um, I gotta remember to look up, because they've always got some really cool baskets. Like this guy's 549 
He's pretty fun. Oh, he's got little cups and plates that go with him for a picnic. I mean, how fun is that? 549, it probably needed, uh, used to have a strap though, so it's broken. Um, but really cool stuff. It could be repurposed, of course. Um, and then of course, we're always on the lookout for longer burger baskets. Can't forget that. We had that fantastic haul a few days ago with longer burger. That was amazing. Um, so look up kids. Remember to look up. All right, bowls and plates. Let's see if there's anything fun here. I do need to get back into the figurine aisle. I got pushed out of it. Um, so we'll get back into figurines here in a minute because um, there was definitely some stuff in there I wanted to check out. What do we got back here? $2.49 each on these, wow. Um, DeVille Capri Collection Stoneware, $2.49 each, huh? I don't know. We might have to look those up and see if they've got any collectible value. Oh, as soon as I walked through the door, um, I saw this and I wanted to grab it before anybody else did because that is a really cool studio piece for $4.49, a little bowl. So I did grab that um, off camera. Just trying to get you guys updated on that. There's a fun snack tray, $12.49 though on that, for deviled eggs and other little goodies. We might have to look that guy up too. He's got some weight to him for sure, but he is fun. Huh. Fun little collector plate. Um, looks like these might be old. Can we get to those without breaking anything? eat. That's very done too. Oh, that's very underwhelming. Shucks. Okay. Um, looks like we got four little Pier 1 bunny plates here. Oh, those aren't bunnies. They're squirrels. But they're like squirrel... Um, what am I trying to say? Kind of springtimey. Squirrel plates for $7.49. Huh. I don't know. We might have to look those up too. See if those are worth a pickup. There's no more Pier 1s. They have an online, but I don't think there's any brick and mortar stores anymore. Oh, there's some dogs fighting in the other aisle. That's always fun. All right, $6.49 for this big uh, group of plates here. Color stone. Those have some cute little flowers on them. I don't know. I don't know. We might look them up. Sweet little creamer, $2.49 wonder if he's got a little buddy in the sugar and creamer aisle. We'll have to check that out. These are all pretty contemporary. And then it kind of slides into um, saucers, cups and saucers. So let's see what we have here. Those are fun. Mikasa. I think they're a newer though for sure, but they are pretty. And I like the butterflies on that. That's very darling and the flowers and a fiesta wear which i'm not going to pick up because these don't really do too well um, and it's hard to tell which ones are the newer ones and which ones are the older ones and i'm never really sure here's a gravy boat with a tray and under plate for 349 no maker's mark or anything on that i like these little purple ramekins or dishes i guess they're little trays little butter dishes 349 um, progression or talkie it's pretty all right well let's look up a couple of these things that we grabbed and then see if we can get into figurines now, all right figurines is empty again so let's check it out and see what we can find before somebody else comes down the aisle and pushes me out of the way looks kind of fun and interesting. $2.49. It's like a pottery material, but it's really pretty. Um, I kind of like that for $2.49. I think we'll pick that up and see what we can do with that. And we've got a conglomeration of little boxes back here, but I don't think any of these have a tremendous value. That one's cute, but there's some chipping on the flower. That one's handmade. 
Um, and then a little grouping of bells back here. We've got New York. That's not an old New York though. If it had the Twin Towers, I'd be all over it, but it's new because there's the little building that replaced the Twin Towers. Uh, Virginia, Virgin Islands, not Virginia Islands, idiot. 749 on that guy, but he's missing a pedal. A little baby bell. I think I might have that actually, it looks familiar. And we've got some collector plates back here. I don't need, think we need to go through all of them. It's a cute little heart, DMT, huh? I like that, it's not chipped, is it? No, it's not, it's got, oh, it's got like a glaze right here and the glaze is kind of chipped and broken. But I still think it's a cute piece for $1.49. I bet there's some value there. People love hearts. There's lots of people who collect hearts. That one's unusual because it's blue and not red or pink or something, so I like that. West Elm, 99 cents on the little bird dish. West Elm is a good brand. I wonder if that's got some value to it. People like birds. It was $14 originally, I think it says. Can't read it. Huh, I don't know, maybe we'll look it up. We'll throw that in the cart, why not? Birds are fun. All right, here's another New York. Oh, this one's not old though either. Three forty-nine. Um, don't see anything else really for us. These are all Norman Rockwell. All of these, so we're not going to go through those. Uh, nothing down here on the bottom shelves. No. Anything on this shelf? No. The little kid dressed up as an Indian is cute. He's got lots and lots of breaks, though. That's too bad. Five forty-nine. He was a fun little piece, though. Very adorable. Oh, Easter's coming. She's very cute. She's got some chips on her little bonnet there, and one on her dress. Two forty-nine. That's too bad. That's an interesting plate. Let's check this out. Huh. Oh, Mexico, Peru, doesn't have any way to hang it or anything. Um, I do like it, but it does have some pretty big chips on the sides, 549. I think we're gonna pass on that guy. And these are all just little figurines. Those herons are cute. They're very broken though, darn, shucks, 249. Those would have been cute, a nice pickup. Little Lammy, he's adorable. All right, well, we didn't miss too much, I guess, in figurines other than uh, what we've already picked up. So um, let's head around the corner to kitchen. Well, kitchen's occupied, so let's check out pottery. We um, always find fun things in pottery. Well, not always, but most of the time, we find really awesome stuff in pottery. Um, I see a little vintage 70s drip glaze down here. Let's check that out. Please don't be broken. I love the colors. 649. There's no maker's mark on it or anything, but that's beautiful. Look at how pretty that is with the red and the orange, and there's no chips on the edges at all. That's amazing. It looks like it's very possible it could have had a lid, maybe, um, but it's a beautiful compote for $6.49. I will grab that for sure. Anything else down there on that bottom shelf? No. Okay, what else do we have here? This doesn't go here, which means somebody probably looked it up and didn't like what they saw and left it behind. So we'll probably leave it behind too. That's a little metal tray, 649, same thing on that. This is, uh, this is not um, old, <coughs> Bloomingville. Don't see anything else back here. Nothing on the top shelf. No. All right, let's swing on down the road here. Next, next section, next four feet. This is pretty glass, but again, not old. Pretty contemporary. Um, and that's a nice little set too with the iridescence on it. They're all pieced out, uh, sold individually. I don't see anything back behind anything. Well, that's an interesting 
uh, like a urn or something back there. Let's check that out. A little amphora with the hand. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. This is amazingly heavy. <laughs> oh, I found something else back there that's old. What's this? Oh, it's transfer wear and a lot of the stuff is scratched and coming off. And it's so yellowed and gross. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to try to get to. Now that I'm getting a better look at it though, it doesn't look like it's very old. It had us fooled. Yeah, it's not very old at all. 549. It's pretty, though. Let's keep him up in the front. Okie dokie. And this is all just basic glass faces and things. There's another little painted guy. 249, hand painted. It's very Easter-y colors. I mean, it's well done. I like it, actually. Maybe I'll grab this guy for 249. I can sell those guys together, maybe. They'd be pretty for Easter. I don't know. We'll see. All right, look up, look up, remember to look up. All right, not seeing anything else here. Um, so let's swing around the corner. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, wood. Let's see what we can find in this mess. I'm already seeing this really cool box. Wow, somebody like painted it and put glitter and stuff on it. What a, what a shame, 449, that would have been really good for 449. Um, but not, not with that and not with all of that damage. It looks like there's a hole in the bottom. Oh, shucks. That's too bad. Okay. So what about uh, bottom shelf? No, nothing. And we got clocks and stuff in here. And sometimes I like to look at clocks, but this is going to hurt us. So we have to be very careful. Oh, oh God. M's are falling out at me. Mm-mm, Mr. M. Okay, stop. Um, nothing else, I don't think, in this section. Nanette Lepore. Huh, I don't know. She sounds fancy. Oh, it's broken. This is a heavy... Um, oh, my God. This is a heavy clock. Well, I mean, it's not super heavy, but it's a little carriage clock. Two's company. The paper's like coming off though on the back here, so I guess we'll leave that guy behind. And roll on down to the next section here. What do we have? Broken jewelry box. What's this for $1.49? Oh, it's just a little print. Um, it's not hand drawn, unfortunately. Not seeing anything here. Oh, wait, this has a little tile on it. Let's see what the tile says. Oh, that's cute. Actually, I think my mom had this when I was growing up. Not even gonna lie. Um, it's dirty and yucky and gross. It's 249. It's not in terrible shape, actually, especially considering that it is old. 249 on that guy, huh? Maybe I'll pick that up. And if it doesn't sell, maybe I'll keep it. Because I remember um, her. Um, entertaining with that. I wonder whatever happened to it. That's a nice tray. It looks like somebody painted over it though to make it like more gold. 549. Um, Tuesday morning. I don't know. Maybe it was like that then. Maybe it's not old if it's from Tuesday morning. Must be why it's up there on the top shelf. Um, what else do we have here? These are more of that same frame. I guess they're just more more little art prints. I don't know. Are they hand hand drawn? It doesn't look like it. No, they're not. It's pretty though. 149 on that guy too. They're in really nice frames with nice matting. I don't know. People people might pick this up even with the um, with the fact that it's not not actually hand drawn at that price. Like a ma matching set with the frames. Maybe I'll go ahead and take a chance on those. Um, find room in the cart. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I feel good about those. There's something, something about them. This rolling pin is holding everything up, so I'm not going to. Uh, 
I'm not going to um, pull it out. Oh, oh God, what do we have here? Some more, some more prints. Um, it is a print, but this one's actually, it looks like it's uh, signed by the artist in pencil right there. So it's a signed print. That, I think, is very interesting. And the subject matter is very beautiful, the beach. And this one um, looks like it's by the same guy, but unfortunately it appears he did not sign this one. Um, I just wanted to pop in really quick and say that I looked up this artist, uh, Paul Strom. Um, these are dated 1999, 1998. Um, and this one is signed, actually. I said it first in the video, it was not signed, but it is. Um, he's got like his signature signature over here on the actual like print, but then he did sign it. And then this one is definitely signed. Um, it's got the, the sign, the print sign right here, but then it's actually signed here in pencil. I looked up this Paul D. Strom, um, and he is still alive <laughs> and he has a website and he does commissioned paintings. Um, he does um, uh, like open air type work, which is very much this type of style. Um, so I think that these might actually be his his paintings. Um, they do look a lot like the paintings that are on his website. So before I do anything crazy, I feel like it's the right thing to do to contact him through his website and see if these are actually his art um, and what I should do with them. Um, I, my grandmother was an artist um, and I, I feel bad about um, trying to sell secondhand somebody's artwork um, and, and signed prints that, um, you know, without letting them know, I guess. Uh, that's just my own feelings and my personal opinion. So I thought I'd pop in and let you guys know that there might be an update on these. I'm not going to sell them right away. And so you'll just have to find out what happens. We both will, I guess, because I'm going to email him and see what he says. So back to the show. But I guess I might take that too. Well, I guess we're making out in art here. Um, we'll look all these up. I don't know. Maybe I won't get them after all, but it looks like that's a print too, but it's two forty nine. It's not bad. So let's grab that. They don't go here, which leads me to believe that somebody probably looked at them already. Um, but maybe they didn't do a good job. Then I can do a better job finding stuff, finding information on them or finding ones that are similar. So you never know. Don't see anything down here on the bottom shelf. All right. Well, we might be all done in wood then. Kind of a fun little gothic, I don't know what. It must have been a box at one time, but it's only the, the top of the box now. This looks dangerous to try to get into, especially with one hand. So I don't think I'm going to uh, go very deep. Doesn't look like there's anything too interesting for us there. Okie dokie. Um, let's see where else um, we can find an opening to uh, get down the aisle. Okay, well, home goods, plasticky stuff. Nothing here really for us, but well, it's worth checking out. See what there might be. But I am not seeing anything. And look up, garbage can. Definitely don't need somebody's used garbage can. No, thank you. All right. <clears throat> Mugs on the end cap. Uh, like they're kind of their seasonally sort of stuff. They still have a little bit of Christmas here and there. And then we've got kitchen. Let's check out the bags on the side here first. I'm not seeing anything too fun though. Nothing too vintage kitchen-y. So let's get in the aisle and see what we got. That looks old. It's this guy. I like the handle on that. That's fun, huh? It's a, kind of like a cast iron sort of material. Yeah, titanium or something. It's very, very, very scratched. And it does not appear to have price. So let's move on. 
Got a cast iron here, $14.49. Dark green. It's very yucky though. So yucky. And here's a green. This one too. So gross and disgusting, but also very chit. It's not good when they get chit. I mean, they're not useless, but they're definitely not valuable anymore. He looks like he's kind of old. Huh? Fun with the little fruit. $12.49 on that though. Wow. Okay. Here's some other glass bakeware and things, but it doesn't look like there's anything fun for us. Um, so let's... I don't know. What have we missed? I know we've missed something. Behind us, we've got more plastic stuff. But I really don't see anything here. I'm just giving it a wide look here. Nothing's jumping out at me. Nothing too fabulous. So, yeah. Um, well, I'm going to take a quick, quick spin through art and I'll get back to you if I find anything. Uh, we missed the pots or the um, pitchers, the pitchers, the teapots and stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's check out this aisle really quick and see what we got. It's kind of an old, fun little metal guy, huh? $4.49. He's really damaged, too. So, no, that's okay. This would uh, hold little cups. It would hold like a, it's a little cup tree. I think that's what they call it. How much is he? $2.49? It's cute. Too bad it doesn't have the cups that went with it, although it may have at one point before it got to the Goodwill or when it got to the Goodwill and then they separated it all out. $4.49 on that guy too. Ooh, that looks like fun. Oh, it's broken. Oh, God darn. The wood part is broken. $8.49. Yeah, I can't pay $8.49 on something that's broken. But it is cute. That doesn't have the handle to the top of it. Little teapots here. Made in Japan. It's a little teapot with a cup that's attached to it. That's adorable. Uh, Morning Glories. Isaiah. 449. Super crazy broken. Almost cut my finger off. Um, fruit. Oh, it's chipped on the top. Too bad. No maker's mark on that. Well, strike out. Darn. Um, those canisters are fun, but they're like a golf theme. That's interesting. I guess if you've got a golf-themed kitchen, if you're a super-duper golf lover. Oh, I see this little cactus. What's this? Oh, it's like a thin metal. $12.99 Home Decor Hobby Lobby. Got it. Okay. Oh, noted. What's down here? Sometimes you can find some fun stuff on the bottom shelf. Nobody wants to dig down there. I don't see anything though. Nothing too exciting. Nothing old or vintage or fun. Oh, you see that pot? See, I didn't see it when I was on the other side. It's got a lot of staining and damage and scratches and stuff made in USA. It is cute though. I like the green on that. It's so much fun. This is probably the top, the lid to it. Uh, just a guess, might be wrong. No, it fits it pretty good. No price on it either though, so. Any other goodies here? Not seeing anything. Well, I guess it's time for us to probably head on out. Hmm. Yep. I think we're going to head to the front. Okay, well, we were heading up to the front, but then I looked up some stuff, um, and then I went down a couple aisles, and then things happened. So let me, <laughs> let me tell you what happened. Uh, we put the Pier 1 plates back. They were chipped, um, but we picked these guys up, that set of seven. Um, I don't know that there's a ton of value there, but for $6.49, seven plates, they're worth more than a dollar a piece. Um, this guy actually isn't worth too much. Uh, one sold for 20 bucks, one sold for 99 cents, but I really like it and I like to entertain and I don't have anything quite like this. Um, so I think I'm gonna get it if for nothing else for, for me. Uh, and then I found, <coughs> 
We are going to go ahead and get those plates. We are going to go ahead and get all of that artwork. Um, it was difficult for me to find too much on it um, or on the artists, um, but I think I will. Um, found this guy. He's a lot of fun. It looks like he was probably recorded, um, and he appears to be almost new in new condition. There's a little teeny tiny dent, if you can see it right there, kind of in the light, um, but you can't really see it, um, and it's very it's very hard to, to notice. So for $5.49, that little hot plate, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, probably a $20 item or so, um, maybe a little bit more, $25. Um, this is a stadium seat, um, and I actually got one the other day that's blue, and this one's red, and I thought, ooh, like if you go to the Cardinals game, you could sit on that maybe if you're allowed to bring those in. I, I don't know. And then um, I found these Irish linen um, tea towels. Um, I would use them more as wall hangings, of course, but you can do whatever you want with them, I guess. There's $3.49 each on these. This one's of New Jersey. Very cool, retro, vintage, little people, and all the different sites in in, uh, in Jersey. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool, actually. Um, Irish linen, great shape. And then this one is also Irish linen, and it is Irish, and it is the uh, Irish coffee recipe i guess um tells you what to do um to make to make irish coffee so that guy was 349 as well um he's really cute and the little castle and all the little stuff so i thought those were both really neat items um that will definitely sell so now we are going to head up to the front okay well our total spend there was 61 dollars. i rounded up she asked me good girl um, that was the only good thing that she did. Not the best cashier in the whole world, but we got through it. <laughs> um, I wrapped my stuff. I think everything we got is going to do really well. Um, even one of those art prints, I think, could probably pay for our whole visit. So I'm really excited to see how we do. Thank you all very much for a very heartfelt thanks for everything that you have done for me. Um, I woke up this morning um, to 500 subscribers, and it was very emotional and really exciting. So um, it's all because of you and I really appreciate it. Um, I have a lot of fun doing this and I love all of the great comments and the support that I get from my viewers. So thank you so much. Um, I've, I've made new friends um, through doing this and that's very exciting. So it is definitely a dream come true and I can't wait to see how it continues. Um, check out my eBay store. Um, I'm trying to list new things um, every week. And until next time, thank you so much. Be safe out there and I'll see you later. Bye.